Welcome to AstroVenture, the DSLR Astrophotography Channel. Hey there, AstroVenturers. Welcome back. If you're new to this Astrophotography channel, my name is George, and this is the Astrophotography channel for DSLR and mirrorless camera bodies combined with the lenses we already own and a simple star tracker like the SkyGuider Pro or the Star Adventurer. It's uh, time for those uh, monthly target suggestions because next week we are going to be going into those uh, dark hours to get out there and do some astrophotography. So let's get started here. First target that I'm going to suggest, we're going to work with some nebulas first. And we're looking at NGC 6543. And you can see where we are oriented in the night sky. We'll bring this in here. Okay, here is the star Polaris, and then up above here you can see the Big Dipper, or the Plow, or the uh, Ursa Major, or the Bear. Uh, now, to locate the uh, NGC 6543, which is known as the Cat's Eye, you see it over here. And this is a particularly small target. Generally, I don't go for targets below 6x6 uh, six six arc seconds, but we're going to throw this one out as a challenge. It is particularly tiny. <laughs> you can see how far I'm having to go in on here. Uh, you do not need to have an Astro modded for this. And for all of these targets this month, you're going to be looking at 500 millimeters or better. We're kind of at that point of in between galaxy season and the coming nebula season. But uh, no need for having an Astro Mod on this one. It's just going to be tiny. So 500 millimeters plus, and I suggest a crop sensor camera. So there you go. That is the Cat's Eye Nebula. Moving on to our next target, we're going to be looking at, here we go, SH2-101. And this particular target, and right now I have this set at the midnight hour, and that's about when you're going to want to start shooting for the Tulip Nebula. Now you'll notice as I back this out, this is Cygnus the Swan. She is starting to come up above the horizon. You can see where I'm located. Here we have the northeast, here's the east, and you'll see there's a number of other targets. I mean anything within the Cygnus region is going to be great. But for this month I am suggesting the Tulip Nebula. For this particular one Astro will help because uh, like all of the targets through here there's lots of hydrogen alpha to pick up on. But here we go. Let's take a quick zoom in and this is the Tulip Nebula. Again, because uh, we're early in the season of nebulas and coming over the horizon, you're going to want to wait until uh, midnight or later to get this up in the sky a bit. So there you go. Let's uh, zoom this back out. And moving on, our next target I'm suggesting is going to be M27. And this target here is the Dumbbell Nebula, and I love this target. And again, you're gonna have to wait till later at the night. We're still kind of early, so you're gonna you're gonna expect to see this target suggested next month as well. But the uh, Dumbbell Nebula, and it's at my minimum of six by six arc seconds. The reason why I suggest going after this one is because the blue in the center area and the red along the edges is it has so much punch to it that even though it's small this target stands out and it's really a rewarding target to go after so if you got a good clear calm night the stars aren't twinkling set up with your maximum reach that you have put it on that crap sensor on that crop sensor camera or uh, even smaller if you have a micro four thirds and get in there on this one this one is really rewarding so m27 go after it it's great it's at my minimum of six by six arc seconds moving on next target i want to suggest is going to be c4 which is also known as the iris nebula now let me back this out a bit so you can see where we're looking <clears throat> 
Okay, there you go, there's Polaris, okay? And then you'll recognize this constellation here, okay? And here is the Iris Nebula. Now, with this one here, um, it has a beautiful blue to the center of it, and it has a lot of great dust lanes around it, this, this dark cloudiness. And with enough exposure time, you can really get these to pick up. But the blue at the center of the Iris Nebula absolutely pops. It's a beautiful one. No need for Astro Mod. This is a target that also is very rewarding. I shot this one last year. I loved it. I really want to get on this and uh, put some more time and effort into this particular target. I love it. Okay, backing out, let's take a look at a few galaxies. Now, the first one we're going to take a look at here will be M101. I've mentioned this one before and moving this up a bit you'll see here's your Big Dipper and then just above the handle of the Big Dipper you have the Pinwheel Galaxy or M101 and this is a great one to go after small target but it is face on so it shows up really well and right now this is at a great location in the sky it's up nice and high so there you go m101 the pinwheel galaxy next one we're going to slide over to m81 and this is taking us over to bode's galaxy along with the cigar you'll see this here and there's also the garland. You'll be able to fit all three of these targets within your framing. Again, all of these targets this month is 500 millimeters or greater and working with a crop sensor. But uh, this nice triplet here will work really well. And uh, they, they actually come out pretty well. Uh, even the cigar, even though it's a smaller target, it shows up really well. So I'm going to suggest that one to you there. And then let's pan this back out, take a quick little jump over to M51, and this one here is taking you over to the Whirlpool Galaxy, and what we have basically done is jump to the other side of the handle there. Let's go ahead and zoom this in, and the Whirlpool is great because you've got the one galaxy gobbling up the other one, or appears to be gobbling up the other one. And uh, this is just a really rewarding target, and I found that the colors over here really pop nicely. So, and, and right now, again, it's sitting in a really good spot up in the sky. Okay, And next, and this is going to be a target we're kind of saying goodbye to because Leo is going to be jumping over the horizon soon. But we're going to jump over to M65 again. I have mentioned that one before. But we're kind of at that point that Leo is starting to dive over the horizon. And here you can see Leo. Here is the western sky. And then this is where the triplet is. Let's move this over. And all three of these targets will fit nicely within a 500 millimeter or greater framing on a crop sensor. So there you go, grab that one. Okay, and the last one, I'm going to throw this one out here, and I'm, I'm hoping to snag this one uh, before we lose it. But the, uh, the Astro Gods in Utah have been brutal. We haven't had clear skies in almost half a year now. And so here we go. The uh, challenge that I'm going to throw out there for galaxies is going to be M61. We'll jump over here, not too far off of Leo. And the reason why I'm suggesting this one, although it is really small, it's a 7x6 arc second target, but the, uh, the spiral galaxy sits face on to us. And so even though it is small, you should be able to pick this one up here. You don't need an Astro Mod for it. And I'm going to throw it out there as the challenge. I'm going to challenge myself and try and get this one as well. So I'm hoping for it. Well, there you have it. And uh, if you like what we're doing here at uh, Astro Venture, I would love to invite you over to our Facebook group, Astro Venture DSLR. A lot of great people over there sharing their work and you know helping each other figure things out and sharing technique. And then finally, if you like this video, Consider liking it, ringing the bell, and subscribing, and, and share that video out. Help us grow this channel. 
Till next time, I wish you clear skies and uneventful nights.